welcome to the next episode of the Dragonfly Tour. Um, I'm here in the lovely New Forest and I'm at one of the best sites in New Forest Dragonflies, Crockford Stream. Well, I say best site in New Forest, it's actually one of the best sites in the country, I think. It's one of my favourites. Um, it's this lovely little stream flowing through, there's a few ponds and there's lots of boggy areas for dragonflies to hunt in and it's, it's just really great habitat. Now my target today is going to be the southern damselfly or southern blue damselfly. This is one of the best sites in the country for them. It's one of the rarest species, it's actually protected, so I'm going to have to be a bit careful what I'm doing. But there's lots of other species here to see, golden ringed, beautiful demoiselle, small red, and a load of other common species, and loads of other cool wildlife. There's loads of whirly gigs and fish in the stream as I'm standing here talking to you. The first thing of note was this silver studded blue butterfly, a species most often found on lowland heath like this. Down by the stream, we found our first dragonflies of the day, this beautiful demoiselle, and not long after, this southern damselfly. Two species on the list. Great to get one of the rarest damselfly species so easily, for that's just one reason this site is regarded as heaven for dragonfly fans. As I mentioned in the intro, there were little groups of whirligig beetles patrolling the stream. These little beetles feed on insects that fall into the water, and are typically found constantly swimming around in circles. Although this one looks like it stopped for a rest. And swimming around below them was this little shoal of fish. Further upstream, we came across this mating pair of killed skimmers. It's the same species I saw on Fursley Common in the last episode, but you can see a mature male here with that lovely blue coloration. And unlike the black-tailed skimmer, you can see his eyes are blue, not green. This is another typical heathland species, and is common in parts of the New Forest. I found this immature damselfly, but was quickly distracted by this dark green fertility butterfly, which was feeding on some bramble flowers. I then found another new species for the year, this lovely male small red damselfly. You can see they're well named, as they're the reddest damselfly in the UK. Even the legs and pterostigmas are red. Now, arachnophobes will want to look away now, as the best non-dragonfly find of the day was this huge female bog raft spider. She was sat on a log and her abdomen was swollen, probably full of eggs, and she may have been basking to speed up their development. Then a brief moment of excitement as I spotted a blue-tailed damselfly. I was hoping it was a scarce blue-tailed, but it was the more common blue-tailed damselfly. But I did get another new species, I got a few glimpses of this golden ring dragonfly as it flew past, and it briefly perched, but not long enough for me to get the tripod out, hence the slightly shaky handheld images. It did, however, start to do that cool abdomen plunging egg laying, where it oviposits its eggs in the stream bottom by pushing its abdomen through the water and into the stream bed. Amazing to watch. It started to cloud over, but this immature small red posed nicely for some footage. And this male allowed some nice close-ups. Female raft spider didn't move all morning and was still sitting there when I passed by again. I found an immature male beautiful demoiselle. This species breeds strictly in flowing water, and unlike the banded demoiselle in previous episodes, which prefers slowly flowing silty rivers and streams, the beautiful demoiselle prefers faster flowing, more gravelly and sandy bottom streams. As the sun came out and it warmed up, the dragonflies became more active, and the southern damselflies began to pair up. I spotted this very tatty looking broad-bodied chaser, it was only the second one I'd seen this year. Quite surprising when you consider how widespread and common this species is. With the sun returning, so did the dark green vitillary, showing off those bright orange patterned wings as it fed on the bramble flowers. Over the stream, the male beautiful demoiselles were patrolling, joined by the killed skimmers and southern damselfly pairs. Two of the male demoiselles were chasing each other around and displaying at each other. This killed skimmer was patrolling one section, using the dead branch as a lookout spot. The southern damselflies were egg laying in tandem in the stream. 
Here you can see the female using her ovipositor at the end of her abdomen to cut into the plants underwater and lay an egg inside. There were a few pairs doing this around that part of the stream. Some were going as far as pushing the female completely underwater. A great place to lay your eggs, but a risky strategy, as there were some reasonably sized trout swimming around in this stream. And finally, this female killed skimmer was hovering and laying eggs in the water. You can just see the male sneak into the top left of this shot as he's hovering nearby, guarding her from other males. And here's some footage of me talking about what a great morning it had been, how many great species I'd seen, and how I could have spent all day here filming dragonflies. But of course my microphone wasn't working, so you can't hear me saying any of that. The reason I had to leave was because I was heading to another site to try and track down the last species, Scarce Blue-Tailed Damselfly, which is the subject of the next episode. So make sure you subscribe, and thanks for watching.